all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna separate straight down vertical, it's like this, straight down center back, and then I'm gonna split that uh, across. So just like this, here and down, and then we will split this across. Really just separating left and right side. And this is just allowing me access to that occipital bone area, because that's gonna play a key role in this haircut. And I come from there, comb everything over, come across the occipital bone, just like this. Here we go. Clip that up in a way. And we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Just like this and across. And just we'll comb this nice and tight at the root and over. And we'll slide our clip up underneath, clip it away. So now this is where we're gonna start, is right here in the back. There's a couple different ways that we can do this. We can either create our vertical line like this and maybe even angle it out just a slight bit to create a little extra length in the bottom. Or we can cut it horizontally and create that angle using over direction horizontally like this. I just wanted to pause the video real quick and let you guys know that this video is sponsored by my friends at MinervaBeauty.com. They have a huge Black Friday sale going on until the 28th, so not much time left, guys. If you're looking for something like a cutting stool, they're the best place to go. Also, they have these really cool eco heads for your shampoo sink. It creates negative ions and also saves up to 65% of the energy used in daily uh, shampoo services and of course they have the most beautiful furniture in the business so go check out minervabeauty.com right now and save up to 65 percent this is where condensed cutting actually works to our favor when i comb all this up and i cut it in my box just like this you could see how much extra length we're going to get from this bottom section because we're bringing it from the bottom all the way up to my finger and then how much shorter this section here is going to be because it's coming a lot closer to my finger, or it's living a lot closer to my finger. I'm gonna use my six and a half inch Precision Elite scissor. You can see here, this thing is phenomenal. Right at the root, body position is straight in the back, making sure we're staying up and above that 90 degree point, and then that buttery smooth cut with our Precision Elite. Keeping in our box, just like this, comb up, staying in the box. And there it is. Now, because we stayed in a box, this hair is working its way around the round of the head here. So we're over directing it further then we are this piece of hair right here that's not coming as far to us. So what that means for us is when I comb this out and down, we're gonna get quite a bit of extra length right around the edge, right around the shoulder, which can be really cool in this cut. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, combing that hair up, staying in that box, using the previous side as a guideline. So right here, just like that, comb again. Keep that tension even. And just like that, you get a nice collapsed feel to it because we layered it, but then you get quite a bit of length in this cut as well. Grab my tri razor here. Love this tool. It's my three sided cutting tool. This is our patented uh, tool as well. Also available on shopfse.com. And I can literally just pinch little areas of this cut. And I don't want this to be still keeping it a balanced shape in the back, but I don't need so much length in the back. I mean, if you really wanted this to be super mullet, then, you know, you could leave it long. Or if you have a client who really loves having a longer mullet, then definitely go ahead. So there we go. And this tool cuts 100% of the hair, 50% or 25%. So depending on what you want to do, if you want to texturize, take out a little bit of weight in there, uh, we might do that in the detail work, depending on how it looks dry. Um, but then you could do that as well. 
real fun tool. We're gonna to go into a little more precision cutting. I'm gonna be cutting on top of my fingers and I wanna continue this shape. So we're gonna go kind of straight up just like this, uh, creating a little hook to the line as we get to the top of the head um, because the head shape moves a little bit and I don't wanna build up too much weight. We're gonna travel. We're gonna go here and then work our way all the way around the head until we get our nice short angle there. So if you made it this far in the video, I just wanted to let you know that we totally revamped the freesaloneducation.com website. You can go on there, sign up for my free seven day masterclass. Also, we have bundle deals right now for holiday, $465 off the entire Elite Series set. We also have a Pro Series bundle as well. And then some hands-on classes coming up next year, January and February, right here in New Hope, Pennsylvania at my salon. And we have a scissor quiz. So if you wanna figure out what scissor is right for you at this point in time in your career. Uh, go on there, take the quiz, figure out what you're looking for, and we'll give you guys some options and also a nice little discount. So go check out freesaloneducation.com, guys. Uh, back to the video. Now I'm going to work section, and the guide's gonna come from the bottom. That's the top of our horizontal section there. And I'm gonna continue working around the round of the head. And as I move around the round of the head, I push the guide over top of that new section. The reason I do that is because I wanna keep that guide moving. So continuing through, also in that seven day masterclass, we work on guidelines. So uh, that could help you guys if you struggle with losing your guide. Um, that'll definitely help you out. There we go. This scissor I'm using here, this is my Precision Elite five inch. I like a shorter scissor, stronger blade for precision cutting. So I can see that guideline through. I'm controlling the hair by combing it towards me, but then I'm going to uh, make my final comb away from my body over top of that section once I have control of it. Here. Mm, love looking at a, a nice shape unfolding. And if you decide to leave, make sure you go sign up for the masterclass, please. It's free. Free, free, free. I'm kind of forgetting about, not like actually forgetting about, but in my mind putting out the fact that this is gonna be a little bit longer as I'm working, because this was a balanced shape in the back, so we created a little extra length. It got longer towards the front. Now we're creating a round shape around the head, and that is not going to mimic this line. So we start out taking our guideline in the very back using the bottom section, but as we work around the head, we're only using the guide from our previous, not from the bottom. Here. Remember, I scoop up the hair to gain control, but then I start pushing it forward to get my guideline over the new section. Now 
and I'll recomb. If I just cut through that entire section, that can really create heaviness because I'm bunching it all together with my hand pushing it down. So I don't want to create extra heaviness right here. I want this to be a nice seamless layered effect. That's why I sectioned it at the round so that I know I'm not going too high above the round and creating too much of a weight line right away. There we go. Control, comb it towards me, then push it away to get to my final cut. Make sure you see that guideline through. Okay, last section. Again, just making sure I'm pushing away. And then I'm gonna do a little detail cutting because I don't, I want this to flow back off of the face and open it up. So I'll comb it towards the face like this. And then I'm just gonna come up. And cut my line. And that'll allow it to flow back off the face. Like that. So now I comb this back. And I use that steady blade. So one blade moves, one blade doesn't. The one that doesn't, obviously don't try this on a real human, but you can see it stays on the skin and then the, just the thumb moves. So anytime I wanna create a line, I can cut across just like that and allow that steady blade to be the only one that moves. You can also learn that at the masterclass. If you wanna take the masterclass, the link is in the description on YouTube and also the uh, description of Facebook. So wherever you're watching, you should be able to see the link, freesaloneducation.com. It's free. Free masterclass, just spent a lot of time working on it, recording it, and now it is available. So go check it out. But this is a six and a half inch blade. I like this if I'm gonna do this technique because it just gives me a lot of reach um, and a lot of room to work. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. We'll go a little quicker, more salon pace, um, just to get going on the top, comb it up to organize it. But now I'm moving this way, so I'm gonna be combing this way. So pulling that section, that guide over top of the new section, and cutting. Control it, pull it. On the master class, I also go over scissor technique.
Stay strong. Keep learning. I do believe everything happens for a reason. So maybe this will be a start. Something great for you. Recomb because we were at that second knuckle. I got that extra length there. I'm just going to remove that. All right, here we go. One blade. Just like this. And now I'm going to work up the face. Just like that right here. So yes, so far we have a mullet. But we're not going to only have a mullet because what I'm going to do is I'm going to push some length to the front of the head. Sections through the top. So this is our U shape here. Um, it's the U shape and we're going to take sections across the top just like this and we're going to travel and then as soon as we hit the high point the apex point of the head which is right here as soon as we get to this point right here that high point everything's going to come straight back to us and we're going to push length to the front i'm going to connect this with the side piece here, like this. I'm gonna cut this straight across the top. Across the top. And again, we're traveling. I'm pushing the hair forward. And then once I get to the apex, I'll bring it back to me. So here, this is so weird, I'm using the longer scissor, which I don't normally do, but Feeling that salon pressure now. I've got meeting in 15 minutes and I really gotta get this haircut done. You guys know the feeling. So here, pushing. So still nice and short. But now we're at the apex. So everything's gonna come back to me. I want to get that extra length in this haircut. So now pulling it back and cutting it at that guideline, just like this. I actually personally really like a shorter scissor for this stuff, but um, a lot of barbers use longer scissor, but I think that's because they're not thinking as much precision on the top um, and control and power with the blade. This blade, being smaller is so much stronger than that long blade. Condensed cutting, bringing all this back to that high point. And it's just such a better feeling cutting off hair with a shorter scissor. And keeping that line parallel to the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow dry this and then we're going to have some fun with the dry cutting portion of it. All right, now I'm going to cut this fringe and you know, a lot of people wear this fringe now kind of in the front. Um, they have been for a while, um, but I don't want it to be in the eyes too much. Um, and I also really want to showcase that mullety effect in the back. So we brought all this back to cut it. Um, and to push that length to the front. But that doesn't mean the length is done. That means that the length is just over-directed um, the way we created it. Cutting this as a balance line as well, just like we did in the back. Um, or square line. I'm liking this like flow we got going here. Now I'm gonna go in my dry cutting scissor. This is the Hybrid Elite uh, dry cutting scissor. It glides through dry hair, feels very buttery when you cut with it. Um, you can see some of these pieces that kind of stick out. All I'm gonna do is just go in and slide cut through them and pinch and 
literally just slide. Feels great. And then we call it a hybrid because it's got a precision tip. So the very tip cuts fully in the hair and then the rest of the blade right here slides. So it's got markings on it. So you can see this part is precision and this part is sliding. The sliding portion is not super sharp, it has a little grip to it, but it's pretty much dull. Then the precision tip, it, both sides are sharp. Um, otherwise, this full blade is sharp. So this blade kind of pushes it in and then allows it to glide through the haircut. It just allows you to have that kind of more slide in the haircut. Control of it. Smooth it out a little bit. That. Did you guys sign up for my masterclass yet? Go do that if you haven't done that. Or do it right after we're done. How fun is this dude? I know it's a little like out of the box a little bit, but it's honestly not really that out of the box because you see people walking around with this haircut all the time now. So it's really not that crazy anymore. Do I have that many guys that would wear hairspray? No, but I want it to be a nice final look for YouTube. So I'm gonna, gonna spray it a little extra. Um, plus this person has a head and no feelings. So um, I don't really mind overdoing it with the hairspray. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys so much. Again, go sign up for my masterclass. It's free, freesaloneducation.com. It's a seven day masterclass, learning how to cut hair better. Um, every single day we do a different exercise. I give you something to do. Uh, and then we finish it with a full haircut. Go check it out. Uh, we also have a scissor quiz on there. So if you're interested in uh, any of our FSE Precision Elite scissors, we got tons of different scissors, guys. So um, if you're looking for new scissors, we have a lifetime guarantee on them. And they're the most affordable scissors with the best quality metals that I can possibly source out there. So um, uh, very excited about those. Uh, so make sure uh, you just go to the website, check out everything, freesaloneducation.com right there. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next class. Uh, appreciate all of you guys.